welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all of the materials that I used in order to record Erin Oft Out of the Box. Erin Oft Out of the Box is the collaborative project with you guys to create an album for solo bassoon of world music. The album is available on Spotify, iTunes, all of your online playlists. The CD will launch at the start of January and will become available on my website. So please keep up with me so that we can continue this great dialogue that we have about making art and music worldwide come together. First off, the bassoon. The bassoon that I used in all of the recordings that you hear is the Heckel 10,000 series that I had overhauled. I do have to say that that bassoon likes to play very pretty and so for pieces that were a little bit grungier, like She's Like the Swallow, that piece in particular I had to step away from my Heckel and I actually learned how to play that piece on the Puchner 5732. By playing it on the Puchner, I found those tone colors and textures and then I was able to recreate that on the Heckel bassoon. So for all of the pieces that you hear, it's all done on the Heckel, but that is not true completely in some ways because I had to do the research and the background with the Puchner 5732. For Aaron Oft out of the box, I used two vocals, each in different bends. The first vocal that I used on almost all of the tracks is my consistent go-to vocal. It is a Heckel 2XL. Like I said, it allows me to get those nice, pretty, rich sounds. Now the Light Singer 2, many of you are aware that that has great high note response, but you might not be aware that this vocal, especially for me, has darker tone colors. Now I believe that this is in large part due to the fact that it is a British bend. I have found that in my own playing, my body makes as much of the sound as the instrument vocal reed combination. And the fact that it is a British bend, it means that I'm relaxing the shoulders more and I'm relaxing the arms more and it gives the bassoon a little bit greater distance between my body and the instrument. This slight adjustment gives me darker tone colors. Let's talk about reeds. All of the cane that I used for making Aaron Oft out of the box was Barton Cane Aaron Oft style cane. I used two different styles. I did use one Madeir and that Madeir reed I had a triple wrapped first wire and no second wire, largely because I was looking for a greater density of darker colors in it and I also find that it has greater stabilization. The other two reeds that I used for making Aaron Oft out of the box were Donati style Aaron Oft cane from Barton Cane. Now one of these these reeds had a triple wrapped first wire and no second wire, but the other one had the standard double wrapped first and second wire. Now I do have to say that although all of the recordings were done on Barton Kane, Aronoff style cane, I do have to say that recently I have moved away from making reeds solely out of Madeir and Donati and I have pushed into Donzi. This is largely because the Donati Aronoff style cane, especially within the past about nine months, I have found to be overly soft. For me, I make reeds in groups of five, and as I've been making the reeds in groups of five, I've had at least two out of every five, sometimes three, that ended up being time capsule reeds, simply because the cane was too soft. And I do have to say that the Donzi Aaron Off style cane is much harder this year than some of the Donati and the Madeir. If you are interested in getting some Barton cane Aaron Off style, currently I would recommend the Donzi. Keep in mind, cane is a variable it grows differently each year based on different weather conditions. So as those adjustments happen, I will share my opinions as different vintages are grown each year. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek into what I used in order to make Erin Oft out of the box. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss a future video, be sure to click that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye.